Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I'm back today with the first break from that uh, collection I bought um, a couple days ago or yesterday. Uh, the first one is the one I'm most intrigued by, which is the Diamond Marks uh, box. So this is 1993 Diamond Marks. I had never heard of this until it showed up in this collection. This is a 48-count box of packs. It's seen some better days. It's pretty rough, but I think the packs are all in great shape. Um, so I did do a little bit of research. I saw that John Sports Cards had also done a break on this box, um, which was helpful. So thanks, John, for that. Um, mine also, just as well as John's, says 1993 Test Issue, which I find interesting. I don't know if there was actually any other kind of pack, or if they all say Test Issue. So I don't know if that's something that's useful or rare or not. Um, but uh, I'm excited because so there are 120 total bookmarks, and these are baseball cards that are essentially intended to be used by kids as bookmarks. Uh, I definitely will be using a few as bookmarks myself, but um, I'm excited because I know that there's a Ryan Sandberg in the set. I know there's a Nolan Ryan in the set and a Mark Grayson in the set. So obviously looking for those three. I think between all of these, I should be able to get a full set. So I'd love to actually complete the full set and then maybe I'll you know, sell that and maybe get the money back for the whole collection. Um, beyond that, I, there's nothing, it doesn't say anything about this, but I did see it online that there are a number of inserts in here that are kind of randomly put in here. It sounded like maybe about one per box, so hopefully I'll get one out of this box. Um, but they essentially look like those Fleer Pro Visions. I think it's the same same artist even. Um, so, because I saw the Nolan Ryan and it looked exactly like his Pro Vision. I saw the Robin Yount and it looked like his Pro Vision. So I'm gonna hopefully, we're gonna pull one of those. So what I'm looking for here are those my favorite players and then we're gonna try and complete this whole set. So just to give you guys a look at what this looks like, it has a um, card that talks a little bit about it. Apparently this is a collaboration between Terry Smith as the designer and Cola, what's the what's Cola's first name? I don't know, I can't find him. But uh, the Cola collection just means that uh, it is that's the name of the photographer. So apparently he had taken all the all the images and combined with this designer uh, Terry Smith, and that's where you get this bookmark collection. So it's actually a really nice looking set. Uh, these cards are are really sharp. The photography is, is really good. There's Tim Salmon, um, and the only complaint I have about it is that they use the same image there as they do right here, but. Uh, it's really nicely designed. Good job, Terry Smith. And Cola, nice job with the photography. So there's Tim Salmon. They have a little blurb about each of the players down here. So Kent Herbeck, Robin Ventura, and Dan Tartable. Another Robin Ventura. Along with the Craig Biggio. I'm just going to kind of put these aside for now, and I'm going to, after we do this video, I'm going to collate the, the set for us. So Gary Sheffield, and first pack, Rhino. So there's one of the three that I'm looking for, done right away. So I'll add that one to my personal collection, excited about that one. And then Derek Bell and Luis Gonzalez. All right, let's keep going. And these are all in great shape. You know, it seems like they are, you know, a few of those first ones had a little kind of marks on the black border. I mean, black baseball cards, as we all know, are really, really hard to, to keep in good shape, but um, the surface looks really good. The corners are all really good here. So I wonder how they picked the 120 because Jose Vizcaino definitely does not seem like the one that I would be choosing here, but uh, there's Deion Sanders. Alan Trammell, by the way, Hall of Famer. It's Deion Sanders, Tom, Tom Pagnazzi, Ozzy Smith, wearing his Specs is clear specs, so that's a good one. Andy Van Slyke and Brady Anderson, Kirby Puckett, and Ken Griffey Jr. So that one's definitely one that people are excited about. Um, these actually are getting a decent amount on, on eBay. There's Mike Messina and Ricky Henderson, so two Hall of Famers there. Um, so I'm really looking forward to looking to put the whole set together. I think that's where. The um, most interest lies. We'll see how I break up these packages. You know, these are the kind that are not going to fit in normal sleeves. So putting in your collection is always a little fun challenge. 
There's Sandy Almar Jr. and Frank Thomas. It's a great shot of Frank Thomas there, actually in the field instead of at the plate, which is different for, for him. Hall of Famer Dave Winfield, as well as Carlos Baerga. There's Don Manley, who I'm going to argue should be in the Hall of Fame. Let's see if, if uh, Polly Pax wants that one. And there's Mark Grace. So we are two out of three of the ones I'm looking for here. Good shot of Mark Grace. The first, the only, the only first baseman in Cubs history to get a gold glove. So two aside there. So there are my two Cubs guys. There's, there's Tom Glavin. Good action shot of him, Dave Hollins. There's Larry Walker. And another Tom Glavin. So it looks like they really like to put duplicates in the same package here. You know, I wonder if there's also, you know, a, there are definitely a smaller number of these printed. I heard that there were 2,500 cases. Um, I'm not sure how many boxes are in a case, but I'll probably do the math pretty quickly and figure out. Um, that these are in shorter supply than maybe most of the, uh, so let's just say there are 36 boxes in a case times how many packs we got? 48 packs times 2,500 times 10 cards divided by 120 for the set means there are about 360,000 of each of these cards if they're all printed in the same uh, quantities. So 360,000 is not rare by any means. There's Daryl Strawberry. Looking really happy. Um, Ken Caminiti. So 360,000 is not rare by any means, but when you compare it to the other sets from, 19, from this era where they're making between three and five million of each card, then um, you can see that these are not as as, as uh, abundant as most of the other cards. So, oh, there's a Mark McGuire. First time we've seen him. And because these were intended to be used as bookmarks, perhaps, let's just say perhaps, that uh, there aren't all of them in great condition, you know, because maybe kids were actually using them as bookmarks. Look, Reggie Sanders looking very happy there. There's another Ozzy Smith. Ramon Martinez, first time we're seeing him. Luis Gonzalez. Look at all these. these are, honestly, these are really great pictures. There's Jeff Bagwell. Pat Listash. Mike Greenwell, first time we're seeing him, as well as Pete O'Brien. So, any of these duplicates, I actually probably will use as bookmarks just for fun. Matt Williams and Ruben Sierra on the on the A's. So I think we're coming right along here. I'll do a second video where I will go through the full completed set. You guys can see each card in all its glory. Um, these cards are not numbered, by the way, because again they're bookmarks; they're not baseball cards. So um, I'll probably you know I'll probably just put them in alphabetical order. I think that's how the checklists tend to show up online. Ryan McRae. These are hard to separate these two. So most of these are not sticking together, but that one was, and you can see that there are some white marks where they're marred a little bit. So I'll have to choose the uh, best versions for this set I'm gonna to put together. There's Dante Bichette, full on Rockies. Darren Dalton. You know, so if I've got 48 packs in here, there's Benito Santiago in the Marlins. And that's uh, 480 of these bookmarks. So I got to think I should be able to get at least one solid set of 120 from this. So these two are clearly marred up. So I'll just Chuck Knobloch here. So those will probably be ones that I use for bookmarks. The intended purpose. This one too, maybe. We got Will Clark and Kirby Puckett. Yep, look at those. Sticking together a little bit. No good, no good. There's Andre Dawson. 
on Trammel. Yeah, so hopefully not all the, the rest of these will stick. At least the uh, that Griffey that I pulled and the Mark Grace and Brian Sandberg are all in good shape, not stuck together. Dante Bouchette, I'll start a pile over here. There's Greg Jeffries on the Cardinals. Mike Piazza and Brett Butler. Yeah, these are not sticking together, so that's a good sign. Walt Weiss and BJ Serhoff. There's another Andre Dawson, and this one is in better shape. So that's good. Dave Valley, Will Clark, and Terry Steinbeck. And I'm trying to move a little quicker now. See how many of these we can get through. Really hoping to pull one of those, I don't know what to call them even, ProVision kind of things. So there's, oh, this one's a little sticky. Juan Gonzalez, as well as a bent corner on that one for Clemens. Oh man, I hope I don't get another Clemens. Hope I don't get stuck with um, the whole set except for yeah. a couple um, couple cards that are stuck together or marred in that way. There's Cal Ripken, first time we've seen him. Orlando Merced. Gary Sheffield and Howard Johnson. Reggie Sanders, Orlando Merced again. So double doubles in there, Clemens and Orlando Merced. Fred McGriff, Eric Davis, teamed up with Daryl Strawberry and the Dodgers there. There's Randy Myers. Exciting picture for the Cubs at the moment. Timer, I should say. Bagwell, Ozzie Smith again. John Burkett, Don Magley, and Sandy Alomar. And Robin Young, first time we're seeing him, I think and J.T. Snow. So for only having 120 cards in the set, I feel like we're still seeing a lot of new people all the time. So here's a Bo Jackson. Great shot of Bo, look at that. Serhoff, Carlos Baerga, Wade Boggs on the Yankees after making the switch from the Sox to the Yankees. Will Clark and Tom Pagnazzi. There's another Mark Grace for us. Put that aside. Luis Gonzalez, Brett Butler, Tony Gwynn, and Howard Johnson. Oh, there's another Griffey for us. Let's see if this one gets marred or if we're okay. And a little bit of, or is that the dirt on the field? Could be, there's Juan Gonzalez, Daryl Hamilton, Juan Guzman, first time we're seeing those guys. But so let's see him again. As well as Ron Gant, double Ron Gant. Not the best randomization going on in here. Ken Caminiti, Jeff Bagwell again. There's Larry Walker and Edgar Martinez. All right, still haven't found our provision yet. Let's see how far we need to get into this until we find it. It's funny that they don't say anything about it, like in the packaging or anything. All right, first Barry Bonds on the Giants. So if we made the switch from the Pirates, there's Ken Caminiti. John Smoltz, Andy Van Slyke, Jeffries, double Greg Jeffries, Matt Williams, Dave Winfield again, just flying through these ones that we've already seen, Albert Bell, Matt Listash we've seen, and Eckersley, yuck, we haven't seen him yet, so there's another one, all right. Still no Nolan Ryan either, so that's the one missing from my personal collection. Uh, an indication too that we still have a few more to go to get to our set. I also would hate if I only got one Ryan Sandberg or one Nolan Ryan and then had to not put it in my collection as a Conseco to complete the set. We'll see what we'll, we'll see what I would do if that were the case. Ricky Tettleton, Ricky Henderson, um, Carol. 
think that's our first Oral Hershiser there. Straw Man. Darren Dalton. There's another Mark Gray, so that's number four, three for us, as well as another Daryl Strawberry. Neon Dion again, John Smoltz, Dante Shit, another Dion Sanders, Terry Pendleton. All right, so there's another new one for us. I think. Juan Gonzalez, Dennis Eckersley, we've seen those, we've seen those. Alan Trammell, another Bo Jackson, and John Burkett. We've seen all those guys. All right. Starting to get a little nervous here. We've got quite a few packs to go, though, still. Rally, Tony, Tony Phillips, that's a new one. We haven't seen him. Paul Molitor, another new one. We have not seen him. John McRae. I don't think we, there's another Juan Guzman, Jay Bell. don't think we've seen... I think this set, there's a Cecil Fielder in this set, too, but I don't, know, I don't think we've seen that one. Gary Sheffield. Twice, Pagnazzi and Pendleton again. All right. I'm going to clean a little faster as I get a little more nervous. We're not going to get all these guys. Howard Johnson, Gordon Jeffries, Hershiser. Oh, Kevin Mitchell. That's the first time we've seen him. He's on the Reds here. John Oliver, also the first time we've seen him. Mike McFarland, first time we're seeing him. And there's the Cecil Fielder I mentioned. Not that it's so fancy or interesting, but... So that's... We're on the right track here. Again, I know there's no one Ryan, so I hope we don't miss that one. Larry Walker. Where's Salu? All right, that's the first time we're seeing him. Todd Zeal, same thing there. And 120 cards doesn't sound like a lot, but it's we keep keep seeing all these new players, so there's a lot of ways to go, I think. We've seen Green One on Europe before. So I feel like I'm gonna stop if we find one of those Pro Vision inserts or if we find the Nolan Ryan. I feel like that should get us. There's Derek Bell, Tony Gwynn. Um, that should get us to the point where we have, have nearly everybody. Although I don't know that I've seen Roberto Alomar either. Cal Ripken, I think we've seen him. Oh, there's a double if we haven't. We don't. We've got two of them now. I know you don't make my videos this long. I'm on a mission. We gotta find it. We gotta find it. Again, it's on zeal. Oh, Orestes Destrada. We haven't seen him yet, so that's another new one for us. After playing in Japan for three years. Frank Thomas. Oh, Kenny Lofton. That's the first one for us, too. Another Frank Thomas, so doubles in that pack. There's not a block. Oh. Carried Di Sarcina. So that's a new one, too. We hadn't seen that one before. So still getting a bunch of new players here. You know, it reminds me of the t that time I opened up that giant box of uh, 88 Don Russ expecting to get a full set and not even getting close. Uh, despite the sheer number of cards that I had. So I wonder if this is going to put me in the same position. I sure hope not. This, the odds should be better here. There's Eric Karos. I don't know that we've seen that one yet. But one I could do. And I have seen, been seeing the uh, you know, new boxes of like just like the one I have here, except for in better shape go for about 50 bucks uh, online. So 
people seem to have some kind of interest in this set. Again, I'd never even heard of it until uh, it landed in my lap here. Or oh, Dennis Martinez, I think that's the first, that's the first time we've seen him. Tony Phillips, Ruben Sierra, Andrew Clemens, Nablock. Well, Clemens is in better shape, I think, than the first one, so that's good. Well, oh, oh, what's that? I know what that is. That is our provision, and not only is it any provision. There's Dwight Gooden. Oh look, they're related. I think Dwight Gooden is Gary Sheffield's uh, uncle, if I'm not mistaken. Andres Galarraga. That's the first time we've seen him. His teammate Dante Bichette. And there's Larry Walker. But our provision here insert is is none other than the one I wanted to see more than anything. No one. Ryan. So let's see how that one looks. Comes in its own little package here. Look at that. Yeah. So you guys might recall if you've got 1992 Fleer, I think it's 92 Fleer, there's that ProVision shot of him like that. So little did we know there's the, the rest of this. There's more to that picture. So there it is. In all its glory. I love that they put it in a little its own little case here. I'm gonna leave it in there for now, but so that one's going right in my own personal collection. So awesome. That's up. That's a great, great find. I'll do just a few more packs here because again, I'd love to get the, the base card going, Ryan, just to prove to me that we have a chance at a full set, because right now we don't. Pete O'Brien, I think that's the first time we've seen him. There's another Rhino, so good. We, we won't uh, only have one of him. So I can put one in the set that I make, hopefully. Well, it's fun that that's uh, no one Ryan is in there. And since the box is in such bad shape, I'm actually surprised it didn't get pulled out. All right. Mickey Tettleton. All right, so we'll just do two more packs. And fingers crossed we get at least the Nolan Ryan base card in one of these. All right, we'll have to wait till the next video. In the next video, I will reveal whether or not there's John Cruck. I don't know if we had him before. Whether or not we were able to get the full set or where we fell short. I know we haven't seen Roberto Alomar yet either. Maybe that's one that might hold us back. Oh, there's George Brett. We haven't seen him. Pat Borders. I don't think we saw him either. Oh, and Bobby Bonilla. I have not seen him for sure. I would have remembered that. Uh, hey, another Rhino. Guaranteed to get one in my collection for sure at this point. We'll do one more for good measure. Still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 14 packs left after this one. Whew. So if I don't find them here, all is not lost. Oh my goodness. There she is. The Nolan Ryan base card. That's the one I was looking for. So we are guaranteed that I got at least the guys I was after, including the Nolan Ryan Pro Vision. So honestly, I don't know what more I could have asked for from this box, even if I don't get a full set. Um, that makes me super happy. I mean, I don't even know what else to say. Number seven, Andy Van Slyke. Wait, let me look over here. All right, so as you can see, the cream of the crop here is this uh, 
special insert Nolan Ryan. I think there were only eight total of these different uh, ProVision versions. And clearly, if there were only uh, 2,500 cases, you know, we're not looking at very, very many of these cards that exist. So that's because that's one per box. So um, divided by eight. And so we got all my guys, Ryan Sandberg, Mark Grace, and the Nolan Ryan, plus what appears to be at least pretty darn close to the full set. So I will open up these last few, and we'll see if we got them. Thanks for going on, along with me on this journey, on this ride. Um, these are, again, 1993 test-issue diamond marks. Pretty cool set. I'll see you next time.